news, my wonderful people. Not be smart, you know. Tinubu don't take the matter of personal. Somebody say personal. Yesterday, we hear say CBN Governor Godwin Emefeli, eh, they call column, National Assembly, Senators, they call caller, say, can't answer question. We they suspect you. They say, well, see, the guy no consigning uh, uh, the race activities where they go on for the country. DSS, they call call and say, go and answer question. We won't hear from you. It may feel blank. <laughs> you don't understand the level. He blank. He say, you know, it's not be my boss. I'm on official duty. You don't assign anybody. Meanwhile, the guy don't offend many people. What did they call them? The boys. The guy don't offend boys. Boys will be saying that they, they do levels. You know, they don't stock up money. One day now, I may feel he wake up. Go go plan with Buari. Say where well, say may they change the naira. You know, so some money they will not go ever know. Say them they be money. They don't send out tears. They don't they don't rotten for somewhere where people store keep. Meanwhile, people they hungry. Ah, life. Go go help us. So FFK say where well, say may feel he not get reason not to answer DSS. Well, he say where well, say DSS invites you. May you come answer question concerning uh, their activities. You not come, eh? Because you feel say the CBN governor, you be, you know. So they don't, they don't, they get, the guy don't, he don't match line for some quarters, but not they happy things they go on. Anyway, my wonderful people, please don't forget eh, to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. May we get all the details. FFK react. After CBN governor refused to report to DSS to answer questions on terrorism, as Nigerians wonder what is Tinubu's own in all of this. In a statement posted on his Twitter account, the former aviation minister, one of the campaign council guys for Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council, responded to reports that the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has refused to appear before the DSS to answer questions about terrorism. Emefeli has been accused of being part of it, as the CBN governor knows about transaction going on, money being moved around, and saying nothing, allowing the country to be in jeopardy. In his remark, Femi Fani Kayode expressed his own view on the subject and posted some provocative questions. This is my personal perspective. Femi Fani Kayode remarked, Is Godwin Emefeli, governor of Central Bank, above the law? Who does he think he is? Can he fight the system? Can he disgrace the service? He was asked to report to DSS to answer questions on terrorism, which he is a suspect on this matter. He redesigned the new Naira. People have still not come in terms with that. Put up, put up withdrawals limits on his own accord and has refused to do the right thing by answering to the laws and authority. What has he to hide and why is he not showing up to DSS and everybody looking at him, nobody particularly telling him off? This is absurd and Nigerians must be aware. The Mefeli saga has continued to generate a lot of controversies. Particularly, politicians have taken it personally with regards to Emefeli's, um, you know, response and um, his way and everything going on. DSS invited him. The guy shunned DSS. You know, uh, Tinubu uh, and his camp have continued to say that, you know, Emefeli is not above the law. Yes, he's not above the law. But I'll tell you something, there is something fishing going on. You see, President Muhammad Buhari is right behind Emefeli. Now, are we saying Emefeli is doing wrong or right? I am not in a place to tell you because I don't have all the facts. If I give you an opinion, I'll be giving you subjective to the prevail to the knowledge I have. Okay, but I tell you sincerely that President Muhammad Buhari used his own voice and mouth to say he wants free and fair election. Some quarters have it that Buhari is not totally comfortable, happy with some quarters so uh you know ashiwaju ahmed bola tinubu taking over from him so he wants to make sure that if tinubu is being voted for it is he's been voted for because nigerians want him and not because they are being coerced or uh, somebody brings the bill of van if you get what i mean that's why they are voting him no no, no. So he's whatever way he can block the villain and the rest and the rest, according to what we hear from some quarters. Like I said, it's not absolute truth because we don't have all the 
we've not heard from both sides and I have all the facts to concretively be able to tell you that this is what it is going on underneath the soil. So it is up to Ross, honestly, sincerely speaking, to begin to reevaluate, okay, reposition and ask ourselves very serious question. What exactly is going on here? Why are things the way they are? Why is Femi Fani Kayode taking it personal? And why is Emefeli not reporting to CBN? Is there something he has to hide? Is he above the law, like uh, Femi Fani Kayode really stated? Why? I, mean, I understand Buhari hires and fires him. But why will he not obey the law of the land? I mean, the Senate, the House of Representatives calling on him to come and answer some questions. They have not found evidences to concretively hold him in custody. They are only saying, we have an allegation against you. There are suspicions surrounding who you are. Could you come and clarify this? And he shuns down everybody. Now, this is how our, you know, our, our whole system is being eroded, taken away by the very said same people who we never imagined, thought about getting into the way and spoiling all that belongs to Nigeria. There is what we call law and order. There is what we call law and order. Things have to be done decently and in order. Okay? Agreed. Emefeli may be wrong. Uh, DSS may be wrong. Every other, but they are just inviting you. And why would you not show up? So when you look at it, you begin to ask yourself a very, very serious question. Is there more to this? Is there something we need to do? No. You know, so these are some of the things happening. And Nigerians, it's up to you and I. The time to rise up, you know, and to disengage from every unruly activity is going on in this country is now. Okay. Is it may fairly above the law? Or well, because it's the CBN governor? Why, you know, the other time he came out that he wants to be president. And Nigerians were wondering, pressy, pressy what? Pressy what? You know, so these are things that happen. Meanwhile, he's supposed to be party neutral, party neutral. Leave us a comment. Remember that every single one of us have got a serious duty and position, places, you know, things we need to do, okay? Things we need to put in place and in order to ensure that at the end of the day, we are standing on the pedestal and on the path of truth. Remember, it's up to you and I for this change to come. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Bye for now.